Today we'll be talking about how to correctly set pinion angle on an F-body Camaro or Firebird. With the help of a BMR adjustable torque arm, we'll show you the step-by-step -step guide to getting your suspension set up for maximum performance, handling, and drag strip traction. Hi, welcome back to the Power TV Garage. I'm Bobby Kimbrough, and today we're going to be installing a torque arm from BMR onto an F-body Camaro. This is important because the stock torque arms that come with the car are a stamped steel, very weak and flexible, and do more to dissipate the transmission of torque to the ground than actually transmitting the torque. BMR's torque arm is a very solid package. It's a rigid, tubular, all MIG welded, with very heavy duty mounting plates. In addition, you have a low deflection polyurethane bushing in the front, and it bolts directly into the factory mounting positions. It comes in two versions, an adjustable and a non-adjustable. The adjuster here will help us set our pinion angles. The non-adjustable is factory preset with a negative two degree pinion angle at factory ride height. Let's go put it on. As you can see, our torque arm went in pretty smoothly, and it did bolt up right to the factory mounting locations. Now comes the key step in the important part, and this is going to be setting the pinion angle. Let me show you how to do this. BMR supplies a magnetic angle finder, so find a nice flat spot and mount your angle finder on it. The drive shaft angle is a negative if it slopes downward toward the rear of the car. The drive shaft angle is a positive if it slopes upward toward the rear of the car. A negative two is what I'm reading on this angle finder. Same way with the mounting bracket. This is where BMR suggests you take your pinion angle reading from. The rear end angle is a negative if it slopes downward towards the front of the car. The rear end angle is a positive if it slopes upward toward the front of the car. And right now we're at a negative five degrees. For an automatic transmission car, we're shooting for between negative two and three degrees. And that's at factory ride height. Now we're going to make our calculations for pinion angle based on the BMR suggested method, which is taking the rear end number, which is a negative 5, and adding it to the drive shaft angle, which is a negative 2, and that gives us a total of negative 7. We're shooting for a negative 2, so we're going to make a quick adjustment on the barrel nut. Alright, job's complete and we're ready to take our Camaro off the rack and put it on the street. As you've seen, BMR puts together a really quality part. The installation was very easy, and I'm sure that following the instructions that BMR puts out, you'll be able to achieve the same results that we have. Now we're going to go and drive comfortably and confidently with our BMR fabricated torque on.